I, first of all, I, I don't call it technology. Uh, it's, it's, um, the internet is a technology. It's actually built out of uh, multiple technologies. And um, yeah, so I just find on, and found communication really interesting. That's what the internet is ultimately all about, communication and information. Um, and and then the iterations of this can become almost infinite. You know, you can do so many things that require communication or exchange of information. And that's, you know, when the internet, well not the internet, when the World Wide Web came about in 1994, that was when I became interested in it. And I don't consider myself, I'm, I'm not a technologist per se, um, I'm just really interested in learning more about it. So it's, it's more curiosity than actual knowledge. And yeah, then became involved in things like Creative Commons, because there was a very obvious debate about copyright online because the way copyright works and, and worked for you know, probably the last 200 years um, was obviously made for a very different world and and yes there is lots of data being pushed around and some of this data is, is copyrighted lots of it and you know using copyrighted works was never really an issue as long as it stayed in your village but now if you put something online you know scan a book pictures they're so easily transferred from one website to the other or from one computer to the other um, that's obviously a challenge and then Creative Commons came about as a useful solution to this problem which also is only a partial solution it, it lets you mark things as copyable essentially under certain terms and it's much more easy to read under what terms you can do this and how you can use it than traditional copyright would, would do it. So it's using copyright in an, in an innovative way and it's still a big deal online. I mean you read so much about piracy and people downloading movies that are under the current legal framework work illegal but they do it. So. Yeah, that's that's when I became in, interested in Creative Commons, and but then the obvious next question was, if content is accessible for free, then there's a whole industry out there, or industries like the music industry and movie industry, that are really being challenged in their business model. Um, but if the business model isn't any more, or the business isn't any more that much in selling the content, then what type of business are you creating around content? And that's when we came up with a with a project called Open Business. Um, and Open Business was planned to be a platform for the exchange of business ideas. But it was called Open Business Ideas because I think many of the business ideas were inspired by open source, inspired by Creative Commons and the functionality of the internet to to lower transaction costs, which means you can, for close to zero costs, um, distribute content around the world. And while well, that challenges positions that industry, its established industries, have had for a long time. Um, and that's interesting. So we created a website called openbusiness.cc. Um, excited some people for it and had partners in Brazil and South Africa to start collecting ideas um, both business ideas but also methods and, and inspiring articles surrounding um, the topic of open business and now this has been going I think for nearly four years um, if you browse the website it's, it's not a very well organized website at present um, you can find lots of interesting ideas and then well, 
I think already like three years ago the, the, the term Web2 became quite popular and confused many, many people. Um, so we, we had an interview quite early on with Tim O'Reilly um, about Web2 and business. And I think that's still really, really useful content, but, but for many more people than four years ago, it's quite obvious what open business could mean. It means, well, giving stuff away for free at some stage, opening up certain processes, um, probably challenging an incumbent in the industry, and, and then figuring out how to make money with it. And yeah, this is what open business still provides, um, a platform for exchanging those ideas. So many of the entrepreneurs who come to Minibar um, blog occasionally on open business about some ideas they have or about their own business.